Hola! Que tal? <laughs> Welcome to audio number 18 um, in this series of vocab builders for the, um, the book Victor's Adventures in Spain. Okay, so we're in the P still, last base, and the first word that we're going to learn today is the word to say flat or apartment. Okay, now there are other words. But one of the words that's used in the in the story is the word piso. Piso. Okay. Which means flat or apartment. It means a level. Yeah. Piso. So, how can you remember that being in a, fl a, a flat? Well, just imagine that you go up to the flat. Okay, you've got a flat and there are peas all over the floor peas over the floor okay everywhere peas okay, and I mean green peas okay and I mean garden peas so piso peas everywhere all over the flat floor okay next one this one que difícil que difícil the word for plan is plan okay now, so there is nothing to remember. So if you remember plan, you can remember plan. All right. So just like a very subtle difference in pronunciation, no? plan, plan. The vowels in Spanish are always very short and very hard. A, E, I, O, U. So when you get an A, plan. Okay. Um, I used to have a, um, a, a very, very posh student who would insist on saying all of her vowels in an English way. So she would get to a word like, for example, alone, which is solo, solo, okay? And she would say, solo. Okay, I mean, how long is that? Spanish people wouldn't even have an idea of what that word was because it's, they're imagining W's and all kinds of stuff. So Spanish vowels are very short solo so with plan it's plan plan yeah um okay next one is the word plate plate as in what you eat of okay and that word is plato plato okay so easy to remember you look at the plate and what is a plate it's in the shape of an o The plate is in the shape of a nose, so it's plate or plato. Okay? Easy enough. Plato. Next one, using the O again. And this is the word for little. Now, before we had the word pequeño for small, but this is little, okay? And this, this can be, for example, a, a, a little amount. Talking about quantity. Okay, like there's a little bit of water in the glass, or there's a there's a little bit of food on the plate. Okay, so the word for little is poco. Poco. Okay, so imagine you've got a stick in your hand. Okay, and there's an O down there. Might be a donut in the shape of an O, and you're poking it. Poke the no. Poke an O. It's only very very small though. It's a small O. It's just a little little O. Poking the O, poco, okay? Don't poke it too hard though, because it's only small, isn't it? Don't be rough. All right, so the next one is the word first. First, okay? As in, he came first and the first person on the moon, blah, 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 yeah? So the word for first is primero. Primero. Okay. So we have lots and lots of examples in English about that that use this this kind of root primero. We have primary colours. Okay. Primary, and uh, the, the primary colours are the are the first colours, the most important, the main, the principal colours. We use the prime suspect. Okay, which is the very first, sub it's the main one, it's the first suspect in any problem, the prime suspect. So, primero is first, okay, primero. 
Uh, and then lastly, we've got private, okay? As, um, and as Cynthia used to pronounce it, private. And why not? Could be private, couldn't it? But it's private. And the word for private in Spanish is privado. Privado. So it's virtue the same. It's just got a bit of a do on the end rather than an eight. Okay? Privado. Privado. Private. Privado. Private. Privado. Bien. So that's all. There, they are our words. Now, before we go back to review, I just want to bear to point something out. I've missed out two key words, which are por and para. The reason I've done that is that they really deserve something separate. Now, I've already done that on another video, okay? I've already talked about por and para. And so, what I shall do in the book, you'll see a little link to show you how to find out about por and para. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, then what you do is you type in Lightspeed Spanish por para, okay? And look for my video that I've done on that. It's essential that you understand por and para. It's very important, okay? They are key words. All right, so let's test you out then. Let's see how you've done. First word, I'll give you it in Spanish. You tell me it in English, okay? First word is piso. Piso. So what are you doing? Scattered peas all over the f apartment floor or the flat floor, yeah? Okay. Um, excellent. Next one. What about this one? Super difícil. Plan. Plan. Mm -hmm. Plan. Yeah. The same. Um, and this one. Plato. Plato. What's that? A plate in the shape of an O. Plato. Exactly. And then this one. Poco. Poco. What are you poking? A little O. Because poco is little. Okay? Poco is little. Watch out for poquito, which is really little, yeah? Poco. Next one. Primero. Primero. So you might be thinking of prime suspect, primary colors. Primero is first. First. Okay. And then the last one. Very difficult. Privado. Privado. Private. Privado. So it's an ado rather than an aid. Privado. Muy bien. So how did you do? Did you get them all? If you did, muy bien hecho. If you didn't, muy bien hecho. Doesn't matter. Go back, do it again until you get them. That's what repetition is the mother of learning. Understand something. And this is, I think this is the key to understanding how you learn language, okay? Language is not a one-off learning thing, all right? You, just because you can conceptualize something, just because you understand it logically, does not mean that it's gonna come out of your mouth in, in an orderly fashion, okay? Never does. At the beginning, it comes out any old how. Listen to a little boy, a little girl, two, uh, three years old. Listen to how they talk. Stuff just comes out randomly. They know lots of words and they just spew them out. Don't expect it to be any different, all right? The amount of times that my students have, have said to me, but I know that I shouldn't have said that, and yet I said it, why? Because that's how you learn. That's how your mind learns. It kind of, it, it is very random until you learn the patterns. Once your mind learns the patterns, then it will give you it in the correct order. Until then, you've just got to put up with it. <laughs> You've got to put up with, with stuff coming out of your mouth that you have no idea why. Okay. Bien. Excelente. Nos vemos. Pues hasta luego, chicos. Adiós.